Alrighty, I'm going to take you through how to set up your custom entries and also give you some examples. So when you're setting up your contest, go to the social slash entries tab and simply click custom entries button. Here you'll get taken to this area where you can create some custom entries. You can pretty much do anything you want here. Ideally what you need is a title, so pretty much a question asking someone to do something. You can add some more information about what they need to do or add some more instructions there. You can also add the URL that they need to go and complete this goal on. And then you can also ask them a confirmation question. So you can sort of validate that they actually went and did the task and all of that is exported in the CSV. So you can get all those answers if you like. You can also set your number of points for this. So in this example here, you can see that uh, we're using a join a Facebook group for example, you would say, hey, join our Facebook group for 30 extra points. You'd say in the instructions, follow through, check out our, our Facebook group, like, comment, and share on some posts. And then you would link to the Facebook group URL. And then you could ask a question of who is the admin of the Facebook group. And then obviously set the 30 points. Now I'm just going to show you some examples of how this is used. Founded run a contest. And what they did was they created a bunch of custom actions to stimulate a lot more engagement. So here, for example, they are rewarding 25 points for someone to go and leave a comment and share on, or on their blog post. So you can see here that this is a blog post they're linking to, and it's got 709 shares over here, and a ton of comments. So, well, the share count is different for those two, but, you know, 500, 500 comments. And when you compare this to one of their normal blog posts, which has, say, maybe 100 shares, and there's about 1 or 50 shares, and then one comment in there. So you can see that that's a huge booster for actually uh, driving more engagement on your blog posts and getting you a lot of website traffic. The second one is getting people to like, comment, or share on a Facebook post. So when you click on there, that would be the link to the Facebook post. And then this is a Facebook post that they are getting people to like, share, and comment on. You can see here they've got a little bit over 300 likes, uh, you know, almost 400 comments, and nearly 200 shares. And you compare that to one of their normal blog, uh, one of their normal Facebook posts, and they get usually 20 shares, 120 likes, none, three, 23. So you can see how using that custom entry to stimulate engagement on your post is extremely valuable and you're not paying anything for all this engagement. The benefit of that is also that once you uh, actually decide to turn that post into an ad, you then already have an ad that has a ton of engagement on it. Now the third interesting custom entry that these guys used was, uh, you know, talk to our Facebook AI messenger. So that's just a few examples of how you can use the uh, custom entries with Viper. The other things you can do is fill out comment, uh, add a Google form or something, get people to fill out a survey. Obviously, as I mentioned before, get people to join a Facebook group, get people to retweet a tweet. Uh, anything to do with building engagement on social is great. And then you can also just ask basic questions if you want feedback. Um, you know, like, how many pairs of shoes do you buy a year? And then you can get people to submit those answers if you actually just want to take the uh, answer or the feedback in the contest. The other thing you can do is also get page reviews. So say leave a five star review on our Facebook page and a ton of other stuff that you can do. So the, the opportunity here is really limitless. You can turn this into anything you want. So look forward to seeing some contests out there with some custom entries and uh, happy growth hacking.